Uh, the U.S. doesn't support Taiwan's independence. Yes, the United States continues to walk that tightrope between Beijing and Taipei. Uh, Anthony Blinken, the Secretary of State, said, quote, uh, he was hailing the robust democratic system and electoral process, but also said that Washington is committed to maintaining cross-strait peace and stability and the peaceful resolution of differences, free from coercion and pressure. A hint there then at what's at stake. China threatening to reunify with uh, Taiwan by any means necessary. Now, the United States um, holds no official relations with Taiwan, uh, but it is its most important international backer. They have a lot at stake, the United States, on that small island, both from a military strategic standpoint, but also uh, Taiwan is the uh, number one center for uh, manufacturing of uh, microchips, which are in everything from the most advanced fighter jets down to microwave ovens. So there really is a lot at stake there. Joe Biden once again reiterating, quote, we do not support independence, but has said in the past that the United States would defend Taiwan if it was attacked by the Chinese from the mainland. I mean, Fraser, let's stay uh, with China. Let's think a little bit about uh, U.S.-China relations. What does this spell, what does this show, uh, this clear stance that uh, the U.S. has expressed today? Well, the U.S.'s one-China policy may seem untenable, but it is a position that the U.S. has occupied for a long time, since 1979. It doesn't recognize Chinese sovereignty over uh, Taiwan, but does recognize that China believes it has sovereignty over Taiwan. It is an important differentiation. And this is a position which has frustrated uh, many Chinese premiers, including uh, Xi Jinping. Uh, in a November meeting in San Francisco, uh, Xi Jinping met with Joe Biden and said that, quote, the Taiwan question remains the most important and most sensitive issue in China-US relations. Now, the White House has been preparing in recent weeks for this election uh, and what China's answer to it could be, ranging from no reaction to uh, military actions as well. And again, the US has no official ties uh, with uh, Taiwan, but the uh, White House, we are told, is planning on sending an unofficial delegation to the islands, which will be made up of uh, former uh, top-level officials. Uh, officials, but that is also likely to anger Beijing. The US-China relations have been mired in recent years. They have been at their lowest since uh, things were brokered under uh, under uh, Richard Nixon in the 70s. Uh, there have been a num uh, numerous issues where they have uh, butted heads, including trade disputes under Donald Trump, as well as COVID, the human rights abuses of the Uyghurs, as well as Ukraine, uh, and of course the spy balloon that uh, flew over the United States in February 2023, and not least of which, more uh, Taiwan focused, of course, that trip by Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan in 2022, which really angered Beijing. Uh, so this November meeting that was between Xi Jinping and Biden was seen as a, a chance to reset uh, relations. We'll see whether this uh, new election uh, really tests those relations uh, after they have been technically reset. All right, Fraser, bringing us the latest on, as you say, delicate uh, US-China relations from Washington. Thanks very much indeed.